Hi everyone, we are enjoying a beautiful fall day out here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're at the Lancaster KOA gorgeous campground. We'll be doing a separate video on that. We have a very interesting story for you today. We put out a couple of days ago, we'll link the video up above. Camping World was in the news for, I guess, some questionable things that happened. Essentially, make a long story short, there was a fire in their location in East Ridge, Tennessee, and during that fire, several customers lost their RVs. They were, their RVs were there for repair, and they got turned to ashes, essentially. The questionable action was that Camping World was denying paying and actually billed at least one customer for work that they claimed was done, but that prior customer to the fire. <laughs> prior to the fire, but that, that customer's yeah. RV was gone. So again, more information on that. We did link the video up above. But Camping World is back in the news again, along with Lazy Days RV. And if you don't know, Camping World is the largest RV dealer in the country. Lazy Days is extremely large. Also, they're both publicly traded companies. So if you think about mega dealers, those two would fit into the mega dealer definition. As Izzy said, these are two of the largest uh, RV dealers anywhere. So you have Camping World, which has, as of September of this year, 215 locations. And then you have Lazy Days, which is a little smaller, but they have eight locations. They have massive inventory, yes. both of them. So the article that we are referring to is from RVBusiness.com. And in separate reports, they are saying that Camping World and Lazy Days will be closing single store locations in Minnesota, and Indiana. So Northern News Now, an NBC affiliate in Duluth, Minnesota, reported that Monday, October 3rd, that Camping World had confirmed it would be closing its dealership location in Duluth suburb of Hermantown. That location used to be home to Gander Mountain, the report said. Now, if you're not familiar, Camping World has Gander Outdoor, Gander Mountain, Camping World. So under different names, they're still Camping World affiliates. The last day of operation for that store will be October 20th. And in an announcement to its customers, Lazy Days announced that they will be closing their store in uh, Chicagoland, Chicagoland store, and moving that inventory, they're actually consolidating, and moving that inventory about 70 miles away to their location in Elkhart, Indiana. So the following, here's a quote from Lazy Days. This is the announcement to its customers. To help serve our northern Midwest customers, we've decided to close our Chicagoland store and move that inventory to our Elkhart location. Service will be available in Chicagoland until October 13th. So if any of you are affected by this, just keep that date in mind. The good news is that our extensive inventory from the Chicagoland location will be transferred to the Lazy Days RV of Elkhart. This ensures that you can still access a wide range of top quality RVs and exceptional service. Thank you for being a part of our journey and we look forward to seeing you at Lazy Days RV of Elkhart. So we've done quite a few videos regarding RV retail sales as well as RV retail shipments. The last one was from August of 23. The shipments have been down from 2022 pretty significantly around 45 to 50%. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only exception was August of 23. The shipments were up from July of 23, but they were still down from August of 22. And the big reason we believe was because the 24 model. So and we dealerships did, are getting more inventory. Right. We addressed this in an update video that we did um, just a couple weeks ago, but we'll link that one above, which goes a little bit more into the shipment numbers. So what, what's happening is that th there's obviously less retail sales, less shipments. We went to the Hershey RV show. Now, while there were areas of positive growth, as mm -hmm. far as uh, a lot of Super Cs were selling, mm -hmm. the motorhomes seemed to be up from the year before, there was a lot of areas just talking to dealerships and manufacturers that were down, specifically towables. And if you've watched any of the videos, towables are by far the largest segment of the RV industry. So what has to happen? What has been happening? A couple things. Number one, RV manufacturers recognizing the state of the economy, especially interest rates being skyrocketing, they are building cheaper, more entry-level RVs. Prices are still high, as we know. The MSRPs are high. But there were, at the Hershey RV show, we saw Class A motorhomes that you were able to get for under $100,000. Not sure how many, but there were signs, and, they, and signs that we had never seen in the past no. couple years where, you know, motor Class A motorhome under $100,000. That was actually very surprising. There were also towables that we saw as low as 14000 yeah, We saw quite a few in the 20s, so it's becoming more affordable now word of caution the cutbacks have to come from somewhere right so there's there's maybe less amenities 
The build quality, we can't attest to that, but if you're looking at more introductory entry-level RVs, these are things that you want to look out for. And as always, we always put this in every video. If you do purchase a new or used motorhome, always get a qualified third-party inspection. And next, as we are seeing from this video, RV dealers, because of the times that we're in, they are starting to consolidate and they are taking multiple locations and bringing them into one. So with the uncertainty in the economy, the, the high interest rates, we feel, this is just our opinion, you're going to see more dealerships doing this. Dealerships that have multiple dealerships, kind of consolidating, consolidating inventory. Some smaller dealerships may get bought out by bigger dealerships, we don't know. But there's some positive news to this. Yes, so even with all of this going on, RVers are still out there RVing. We are here at a KOA and not now because people actually started to leave, but this weekend it was sold out. It, there were tons of people here. Mm -hmm. Everybody's out and about. We're seeing RVs on the highways. It's really, really nice to see. A lot of people at the shows. A lot mm -hmm. of those people are, they're waiting. They want to buy an RV, right. but of course they want to get the best deal and they know it's a buyer's market now. We've had a lot of followers, subscribers in the comments saying, yeah, we're waiting. We're in no rush. Yep. When we get the deal we want, we're going to jump on it. So in the comments below, let us know what are dealerships looking like in your area? Are you seeing a lot of inventory, any consolidation? Also, are you in the market for an RV? If so, how long have you been waiting? Are you ready to jump? Or are you going to be waiting a little bit more? And if you like videos like this over here, we're going to put some of our RV tours as well as our RV news playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you on the road. road.